Uh, in this tutorial, I will explain how to display the data of a specific author or how to display information of a specific record. In last tutorial, I did explain how to create a component, table component, where you can display the information which is stored in a repository in the form of nodes. As I said in my last tutorial, I'll say this button is for the specific functionality. So this is the functionality you will see in this tutorial. So in this table, you will see the record of each uh, author or more specifically, what, what would I say like the information stored in nodes. So when I click here, I want to see a page, specific page where it contain this, all this information along with the other informations as well. Right? This is the gist of an author, but author might have a bit more information. So when I click on this, okay, then another page pops up and it will show the information like thumbnail, first name, last name, books. So you, you can have a lot of other information which you want to display on a profile page. So how it is happening? So the important part is how that information is flow from this page to next page, right? There must be some information which actually you know, pulling the informa author's information. So if you click on this, what I'm doing, on click of this button, I'm creating actually the URL which contain the path of that node, name of that node, right? Then the node which is used to store this author's information. So what I'm doing in the back end, this button, I'm creating a URL. And as soon as you click on this, so it will go to the page, right? That page is same, right? I'll be using the same page. Every time we just replace that information for the author which is required. So once I click, you will notice here in the browser, you will see, I click. So there is a query parameter added, author is equal to, and this is the name of the node, which actually contain the information. So what is happening in this component, I'm taking this, this node name, right? Once I got this, now I'm finding this node and pulling all the required information. So now you the important part here is how you were getting information from the previous page. So I created this on the button click, but you can do right. You can save this information in the cookies, local storage, or you can have something, uh, you know, some other setup. So how I'm doing that here, that is the important part. How I'm creating the URL, okay? Let's see the code. Okay, so this is my old component, big table component. In this component, what I'm doing, I'm saying on click means on click of button. I'm creating this location dot hre. What I'm doing? Okay, I need this author means I authored the page in component. I'll show you right in this component. I author like this is the page where all the information will be available. I got this information, then I added query parameter. Then I added the first name, last name, email, the, the way I format the exit, the name of node, which the information contain. And this is the profile. So as soon as button will be clicked, this whole information will create a URL in the next page. Once that page profile page is loaded, what is happening? I'm getting the country code. What is the country? Because if I'll be having multiple countries, I need to get the data from the specific country. And I got the node here. I'm getting request dot query parameter. Query get request parameter. So it will give you the query parameter and the browser. Okay. After getting this, I'm just making a call to method get author details by passing this query parameter and the node name. So you will see here. You will see here and got all this. I got the configuration because I need to get a specific country site and I got node location. And from the node location, I got the path. I'm just returning the resource. Okay. So I return the particular resource, mean that particular node. And in model, model, once I get this resource, I got the value map. And from the value map, I'm getting one by one, right? These values. Okay. And I'm returning these values through this getter methods. So if you see here, in Sightly, this is my component profile. Okay, if you open, see, uh, I got this. Uh, I got this profile object from the Sling model, and I'm getting the profile dot first name, 
last name and all the required information important part is how you are getting that thumbnail okay so profile dot thumbnail i return the path of that thumbnail right because i was saving saving the thumbnail as well right so right now i'm displaying this thumbnail using the path means src later on we'll see how you can display the thumbnail using the binary data okay and this information is stored important is in this object you have one list as well means the book for the book information you have list if you will see here uh, for books i'm returning a list right list of string simple i got the books i return that as a array so I hope you understood how you can you know move information from one page to another page. There are multiple ways, right? If you are using JavaScript, you can save that information in cookies or in local storage or some some other storage in the browser storage. So you just need to pass some information. There are other ways as well. We'll see those in coming tutorials. So important part how you move between the pages. I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.